Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm the Marmoset and this is City Skylines and welcome to my let's play in the little town of Animalia, which apparently has two L's in it. I clearly don't know how to spell that well. In our last episode, we built more rings, three large ones and a slightly squishy dumpy one. We also built an enormous park, which people are loving. You can hear the merry noises of the dinging as uh, this huge great big area is really making all these people around this area much, much happier. They are happier to be citizens of my little town. So, I am pleased. I am pleased that they are pleased. The other thing we did was also expand this road down the centre of here, and I was going to move this fire station back up here, um, where it's going to give us much, much better access. Later, another fire station is going to go in down over here, but we'll worry about that a bit. We're making reasonable bank, and we are ever so, ever so close to getting the point where we can start putting our ore specialisation in. The donkey mines, the donkey... Donkey mines can become a reality. So you can see what with our industrial demand ticking out, we're starting to see a slowdown in the increase in the amount of residential we're getting because people need work. Now we've got a bit of a problem in the fact that it's going to take us a while before our high school starts spitting out people educated enough that they can start filling in our boomtown. It's a boomtown, ladies and gentlemen. We've got an achievement. It's time. Power at your fingertips. Yes, boomtown. So we got... Cemetery, a bus depot, advanced wind turbine, so we can finally start looking at reorganizing our cash flow, our power supply, I think we might that a point, and we've got taxis, we've also got some bus lanes, highways, we can now make new policies, recycling, and the ore specialization. I think, so, um, new areas, so I think what we will be doing, first off, is pausing the game, clicking the district button, clicking the specialization button, and making this, there it is, ore. Donkey Mines, the gentlemen, the Donkey Mines is a reality. So what will happen in the immediate term is all of these will go away and be replaced by mine shops. Now, I think there is enough actual mining no resources. Yeah, they're all actually on resources, so they will quite quickly switch over and start hauling ore out, which they will then truck off onto many things. Now, we've just got a nice wadger cash from our promotion. So what we're going to be doing in this immediate case is taking that wadger cash and converting it into offshore wind farms. Now, the basic wind farm costs 80 a week and produces 0 to 8 megawatts. This one produces 0 to 20 megawatts and costs 200 a week. Yep, I think that does work out a bit better. So, we should be able to estimate the 20. So, we can actually stick these quite far offshore. But let's um, tuck them in a bit so we make sure our, we're connected to our power supply. So I'm going to spend as much money as I possibly can on these things. Because we will desperately, because the ore industry is going to be proving itself to be exceptionally expensive. So we now have plenty of power. Well, we should do in a bit once they start spinning. Hey! Spinny, spinny, fun, fun. So now we've got a vast amount of power. So when it time comes, we can just move these somewhere else, but we don't need to worry about building any more of these. We can now have these. So our city is still growing, ticking along quite nicely. Oh, there we go. So you can see all these guys going away. Let's look at going faster so we can see the ore guys coming in. Yep, it's a iron forge operating normally. Apparently that these things don't actually have levels, so unlike the other industrial bays, like these ones over here, which have got ratings and the like, these guys just stick at as a certain number. And that's as far as they go. Yeah, a lot of happy dings. Various buildings upgrading, little things here and here. Okay, so, as expected, our diamond interchange has proved to be a bit of a problem. We've got quite a backlog of traffic here, so... We're going to have to deal with that. So it's back to the pause button we go. Nice amount of money here. So I think probably the best thing to do is just to strip. All of that out and then think about how we want to get. Ooh, let's uh, let's move that part, shall we? Relocate you. Let's put you over here. So, a load of traffic just, you know, randomly hovering 
in midair. They'll uh, all do something really funky in a bit. So, we now have the ability to actually make full-on highways. So we can make an actual proper roundabout. Have an upgrade? Oh, we're on upgrade mode, yes. So we can make an actual proper roundabout. Now our roundabouts are going that way round. So, we are going to... What's our curved section? Curved. Oh, apparently I can't come off straight off like that. Okay, so let's uh, put a little bit of space in. Hmm, it's going to end up being really quite tight and not pleasant. This is going to be tricky. We've not left ourselves a lot of room here to put a proper junction in. So we're going to have to think about how we're going to do that. Um, and the most expedient thing is making sure we can get traffic on and off in the quickest way possible. I can't delete those ones, not yet, because we haven't bought the other tile. Because actually, buying the other tile right now wouldn't be a bad idea. How much is it? Five and a half bag. Yeah, I'm going to buy it. It, um... It's going to make... I wasn't intending to buy this one quite so early on, but it so gives us the opportunity to solve our a major problem in that we now have access to... This isn't blocking up. This is. So now I can... Back that up a bit and allow me to build an actual proper size roundabout. So we're on the curve mode. Let's grab that about. Just try and center that up a bit about here-ish. Interesting. That apparently doesn't have anywhere near the snapping utility that the smaller roads do. So let's um, grab a small road and bring it all the way out to about here. No, straight to these. All the way out to about here. And then we will pop off that. So we can then grab the highway. Highway. And okay, yeah, so I want a perfect circle ish. Right, to about here. No, that's going the wrong way around. I want to go the other way. Uh, well, okay, I'm also pretty convinced that those aren't long enough. Do, 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 do. Okay, there's the beginning, there's our outline, there's our little template. Somehow I just don't think those are going to be quite what we're looking for. So. Zoom, 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 zoom. No, no, it's giving me a slightly squiffy angle here, so it's not going to be the most round roundabout in the world, but it should do what we want it to do. So now we've got, let's grab two lane roads, so we have our off ramp, it comes into here, and we have our out ramp. So this is still going to be a hell of an interchange, but we should get at least get a slightly better flow of traffic coming in and out of the city. Uh, I don't really want to dump too much onto the main roads just yet, but yeah, we might look at reorganizing that road. In fact, I know what we can do. Let's upgrade it to a one-way. So the traffic now just flows around in that direction. Yep, does it? Does it? Does it? Does it? 
Yes, traffic now flows around that direction, so we've not got anyone trying to come out of this junction. And let's do the same. With this road, so that we're not so people traffic going this way goes that way, and traffic trying to come out is only going in a certain direction. So that should help a little bit. The last thing we need to do is attach this, and we will take the slip roads. That was the upgrade tool. Hmm, not what I wanted to do. Uh, that was a two lane one of these. I will switch back over here to uh, actually leave it on that one, so it will just sort itself out. So we'll bring that up to right here, and then if you want to come off, you just do that. So, yep, that works fine for me. And now we just need to plug these ones in. Just use the highway tool, so coming out of here, we will let you merge in that way, and coming out from here, no, coming out from here, here. No, okay. Looks like we'll be deleting those two. Plugging in that one like that. And then going from here. Hmm. Age or the problem of the roundabout. Not enough money. Well, we should be able to solve that out pretty quickly. So at the moment, no one can leave the city. So none. There we go. Doesn't that look neater? Spinny, spinny, spinny goes the roundabout. Dingy, dingy, dingy goes the. Uh, the happy noises of our happy people. So, alright, that's our immediate traffic problem solved. You can see we've got absolutely no delays whatsoever here, because the, the thing here wasn't so much that they have a problem with the busyness of the junction, it was the simple fact that there was far too much traffic piling up on the traffic lights. And now we have a traffic light this set of interchanges. But, yes, entirely traffic lights, so as long as we don't get too much congestion with people waiting should be fine. And our one-way system around our industrial area appears to be working. So <laughs> there's a fire, and there's our very rapidly blinking lights. It's quite a big fire. Oh, two engines. Three engines. Because there's two buildings on fire, side by side. I wonder if that spreads. Hmm. Because it's a slight traffic delay. I don't quite know why the um, donut van Hasn't worked out that it would probably be in its best interest to know, get out of the way. So these guys are responding to that fire. Yeah, okay. Operating normally. Charred ruin, but you know, it's operating normally. Hmm, it's a bit of lane changing here, so they, whether or not they wanted to go right or not, they were trying to make their mind up about doing that in the really the wrong place. Where are you returning to fire station? There's the firehouse. Oh. You don't have an easy way of turning around, do you? Okay. Let's deal with that later. So, let's look at our demands. Um, we filled out most of the new area of Dalmatian Heights. What are you complaining about? Not enough workers. Okay, well... The residential demand isn't as high as I would think it would be. Let's uh, double check this. Uh, double check our high school. Uh, there. High school is operating on the edge of capacity. Okay. So it might be time, I think, when we do the next sequence of circles, which is going to be now, because we've earned up a nice water of cast. It's circle time again. How do we know it's circle time? Because it's the skylines and we're in Dalmatian Heights. So let's, um, let's put a circle in about here. It's circle time in Dalmatian Heights. I don't think we're actually going to get to the point where we have 101 circles. But I think we'll get pretty close where we might have a, certainly a good number of circles. I just think it, it adds an awful lot of character 
to the city just to have a nice pattern in this original early low density district. So we're going to probably end up with another squished one, but let's squish it the other way. Let's have the half circle out this side, and then we'll go with this road, pop vertically. Yeah, just cancel that so we can grab a fresh one. Connect to about there -ish and park around. Okay, give me straight interconnecting roads. So let's plug you in the middle there. You let's do a tangential one here. Yep. And then we'll connect you to there. And now we've got to a point where yeah, we've skipped a couple times. It's now time to plug in back to the main road. Okay, um, we should probably stick one in over here. Let's talk services. Well, yeah, let's talk services and pause it for a bit. Actually, no, we need the money to trickle in while we're working. So, um, water, 440, should give us a pleasant amount of coverage. We won't stretch that all the way across this. We've not really extended the bee shopping area very much so far. And we will want garbage, we're fine. Hmm. We are going to want a cemetery soon. Dead people. We are going to start getting dead people. And the people do like seem to like a nice cemetery, so I probably will make it the centerpiece of this donut over here. And now we have enough money. Does it fit? Not quite. Can we Yes, there we go. Stick it in that area there. I do want to tuck it on this corner. Put it here, put it there, not quite. Yes, I know, bus routes, so I will play them next time. Yeah, let's stick a cemetery in. And a vast radius on that. I suspect that might give us a nice, nice boost. Buses, yes, I know, we've got buses. We will have a look at setting up some bus routes in a bit. Currently, I am busy thinking about the fact that we can't afford a school. That's expensive. We're going to have to suffer for that for a bit, because we can't afford that, so we're going to... Well, we're ticking in the money at a reasonable rate, so let's do the short thing. And paint in our commercial zones on the interchanges. Let's declare it some residential here. Lots of the various tools you get for doing this really make a big difference. It's so much easier if you can block select like this and just drop these bits in. There's a, there's a tiny little need to change there. Let's just do the inside line on that road. Yep, okay, I'm happy with this. Um, it's a little bit of a demand commercial. Let's... Uh, just double check we've got water underneath all of that. Yes, yes we do. And let's just zone that. Just gives, uh, bits down here might take a while. And then we'll grab the marquee tool. And zone the rest of this residential apart from these two squares. Good, those should be instead. Grand. Okay, so donation heights is extended once again, which means we should grab the district tool. Select the thing, grab the thing, grab the enormous one. I'm not going to try and road snap this time. I'm just going to spread it out like this. There we go. The ever increasing donation heights. It's, it's been nice if we've now got that artificial boundary across there. So it means if I want to, I can actually d extend donation heights out this way, which I think I probably might do. Next time we need to extend it. Yeah, there we go. People dropping in, people being happy. Happy people is what we want to see. When's our next milestone? Our next milestone is at... Oh, gone a little bit too far. Our next milestone is a busy town at 4800. So we're quite away from there. Tourism specialization, future policies, a load of new, ooh, shiny roads, which will greatly improve our abilities, and a load of new buildings, including a load of new tourist buildings, and a bus station, skate parks and the like. Now, we'll have to wait and see how many of those we can actually fit in. But... Looks like we're getting to the point where we were wanting more industry. Despite the fact that we don't have necessary enough workers to meet our current demand. Okay. How are we doing? Well, we've got all this new bits and pieces in. We'll probably experimenting with bus roads next time. It's raining. 
Oh, that makes a nice change. That looks really nice. Wonderful, it helps put the fires out. That is pretty. Hopefully that's not caused by, you know, global warming or anything horrible that I've caused. Making serious amounts of money at the moment. So I think it's probably time that we look at extending our mining out in the donkey mines. So let's just do the most direct and simple thing and grab that road. And bring it all the way out over here. Oh, hang on a sec. Let's make that just a slightly more sensible decision by checking where the resources are. Yep, looks like we'll be going... Um, where do I set the district? Well, the district goes out to there. Uh, let's do a little trimming on the district. Let's bring the district of donkey mines out to meet the motorway. Because that way we know that we've definitely covered all of our mines. So let's extend our roadway out. So we'll grab that one. Go out for a tick. Up for a tick. Across for a tick. And then come into the junction. And we'll do our previous trick we did with making our industrial area a one-way loop. Oops, fair enough, so that's that one going that way. And then we'll probably want to do a one-way road. Counting out. And going down the other side. Do we have water out here? Not entirely. It's just on an edge. That's really unhelpful. So, you're going to have to put in extra piping that I didn't necessarily want to have to do. Uh, let's pop it out from here and go out to 414. Across. I did look like you don't have to connect those all the way up. And then we will merrily grab the marquee tool and paint. I think actually I am going to dezone these bits. Oh, that's time up. Thank you very much for watching. So we've finished off there with a drastic increase in the amount of industrial space we've got. As you can see, it's already rapidly filling in because we had a huge amount of industrial land. I know there's more land to buy, City Skylines. I know there's more land to buy. I've barely even begun to fill in a small amount of this one. So. Thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of City Skylines in the town of Animalia. I've been the Marmoset. Please remember to like and subscribe. And if you're feeling really special, Nick. <laughs>